Have you seen those viral videos from the channel RIO Films, the ones with the baby monkey running through the market or doing emotional stories that hit millions of views? Well, today I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a similar AI video like that step by step from creating the character generating scenes all the way to editing and adding sound. And hey, if you love exploring amazing AI tools and want to save time while creating viral content, don't forget to subscribe to Needat AI so you won't miss the next tutorial. Before I start editing the video, I first need to create my main character using AI. This helps keep a consistent visual style across all scenes. I'm using ChatGPT GPT-5 because it can generate images directly from text prompts. For example, I type cinematic 8K photo of a baby monkey in brown clothes, golden light, realistic details, blurred background. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT generates a super realistic image of a little monkey, warm golden lighting, sharp details, and soft background blur. I click download to save this image. This will be my main character for the video. Next, I open Google Gemini to expand the background and add more action. Here I type something like baby monkey running in a busy market holding bananas man chasing behind. Gemini then creates a dynamic scene, the monkey running through a crowded market holding bananas with a man chasing behind. This helps me set the tone lighting and motion style for the video I'm about to build. Once I have my images, I move over to meta.ai to turn them into moving clips. First, I go to meta.ai and log in using either Facebook or Google. In the main interface, I click Create, Image, and then upload the picture I just made with ChatGPT or Gemini. When the image loads, I type a short action prompt, for example, generate a video where the person is chasing the monkey. Then I switch from image to video, click Animate, and wait a few seconds while it generates. And there it is, a short cinematic clip where the monkey runs, the man chases, and everything feels alive. I download the video and save it for the editing stage. I repeat this same process for all my other AI images, so each one becomes a short motion clip. When combined later, they form one complete story. Now that I have all the clips from Meta AI, I open CapCut to edit and polish the final video. First, I go to Import, Media, then add all the AI videos I created earlier. Next, I drag each clip down to the timeline in the right order, starting with the monkey holding the fish, running through the market, and ending with the final scene. Then, I adjust the speed of each clip to around 1.5x, 1.7x for smoother and more natural movement. After that, I add transitions like black fade or mix to make the scenes blend nicely together. If any clip feels too long, I use the cut tool to trim it down and apply a warm color filter to keep a consistent tone throughout the video. Once everything looks good, I preview the entire timeline to make sure the pacing color and flow all match. Every clip you see here was originally created from AI images now pieced together into one smooth and emotional story. After editing the visuals, I move on to the sound. I open Google and search for Pixabay sound effects. On pixabay.com, there are thousands of royalty-free sound effects you can use for free. In the search bar, I type something like angry man shouting to find the right sound for my chase scene. Once I find the perfect one, I click download to save it. Then I go back to CapCut, click import media and drag the audio file into the timeline. I place each sound carefully to match the scene. For example, the shouting sound goes exactly where the chase happens. <coughs> Finally, I click export choose.mp4 and hit export again to save my finished video. And that's it, you now have a fully AI generated video, complete with visuals, motion, and sound, ready to post on YouTube, TikTok, or anywhere else. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Night at AI, and leave a comment below to let me know what kind of AI guide you want next. Thanks so much for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one.